Well, back in 2002, we bought Riyadh El Fen. It was really a sort of mad moment of exuberance after a big lunch. And uh, we loved, love Marrakesh. And I was here with Hal James, my, my great friend. And we traveled around a lot together, you know, staying in hotels. And we always played that game. If this was my hotel, I wouldn't paint it this color. Or why do you need a front desk? We had this sort of fantasy hotel. And then when we bought El Fen, um, it was a ruin. And we had no idea how big it was. And it was only when we came out a few months later that we realized that it was too big for a little fun project for ourselves and so uh, we decided to turn it into a hotel so we weren't professionals we were just passionate travelers and uh, and also Hal's very interested in design I was you know obviously interested in design as well and we wanted to go about it being we wanted to support the local economy uh, all the local craftsmen we wanted to have no synthetic fabrics here we wanted to make it a place that we wanted to stay in, that our friends could afford to be in. Um, and we could just do it how we wanted to do it. We weren't setting out to, to be fantastically successful business people. We wanted just to make the most beautiful hotel. One of the most exciting things about getting past 50 is uh, when all of the strands of your life come together. You know, you start off with an interest, um, well, in my case, contemporary art, and then it evolves when you have a family to environmental things, and then it involves when you move into another country, as I did here with Morocco, um, into, you know, all, all things to do with our different cultures. It's great when your life starts joining up and you can um, coalesce everything you do. I think other people's fear based it from on ignorance is probably the thing that, that frightens me the most. I'm also nervous about people uh, feeling, because of this rush of technology and this um, you know, feeling that the world's changing so quickly, I think that we need to slow down a bit. I think it's the sort of hotel that people want to lie around in public places rather than tucked away in their own private balconies. There's no time structure all the sofas that people sit on are slumping sofas like we're doing now you can take your shoes off and lie with your feet up we wanted it to be a hotel that we would like to stay in it's not a concept hotel when you're eating in the evening if you don't want to sit in the restaurant you can have a big tray of food brought to you and you can read your book or sit on your computer and just lie and eat. It's very chill, it's quite rock and roll. I mean, Morocco is an extraordinary country. It's the most exciting country that I'm spending time in at the moment. The permaculture sort of revolution is happening here. Everybody seems to be embracing permaculture. Naturally, most of the food's organic anyhow, um, so if we can just hold on to that. That would just be fantastic. Just the tagine itself, the national dish. You don't have loads of plates and washing up. Everybody eats out of a central dish. Everything's made in one pot. And when you see how environmental that dish in itself is, that says a lot for, for, for the place. And if we can, you know, if we can respect that and hold on to that, it's exciting. We're very, very supportive of our staff. We don't have seasonal staff. We support the local economy by sourcing our food and, and things from them. And I'm very, keen on um, organic food but also we support local projects you know a hotel plays a role in the community and it's been one of the greatest rewards of owning the hotel is how we've been able to lift the whole community around us and I think guests when they come here they feel that I want to do what I do well and leave behind a trail of happiness rather than a trail of misery Elfen's is a sort of microcosm of, of, of everything. It's very easy to visualize, you know, the marriages that have taken place here and all the little grandchildren I've got here from the staff. I mean, they're not my grandchildren, but they're relationships that have come under my umbrella. It is very rewarding to see the trail of your life. You can, you can see it here. It's very tangible. People come back again and again. You don't just go off and say, you know, Marrakesh, been there, done that, move on to the next city. Thank you.